In this video, we're going to combine the different types of calculations for energy. So we have a reaction, methane plus dioxygen goes to carbon dioxide and water. The delta H of that reaction is negative 213 kcals. Separately, we're heating up water in a pot. And so I have 1,037 grams of water in a pot. And it's going to be warmed from 20 degrees Celsius up to 100. This is what we burn methane, natural gas, for on the stove. So question is, find the mass of CH4 that was required. Now assume that all the heat release actually goes into the water. This is a generous assumption. If you ever held your hand above a stove, plenty of the heat gets past the pot. But we'll assume for the moment this is the case. So go ahead and pause. See if you can solve this calculation. All right, if you're back, well, there's two things. I'm burning some methane to heat some water. So I've really got two steps. First is warm the water. After I warm the water, well, where did that come from? It was energy released by burning methane. So if I can solve how much I had to warm the water, then I can solve how much CH4 was needed. Well, what went into the water? I had water. So there was some energy that goes into it. So energy of my water is going to be equal to the mass of my water. So 1,037 grams. The S value of my water, well, it's between 20, and we're just taking it up to 100. So we're not boiling it away. We're just getting it to 100 degrees. And so it's liquid the whole time. This is one calorie per gram degree Celsius. And my delta T. My delta T says my temp final was 100. My initial was 20. So they have 80. And if we do that with sig figs, it'll be one past the decimal. 80 degrees Celsius. And so I can find the energy that went into just warming this water up. If we add that up, it is 82,960 calories realistically with three sig figs. So that's the amount of energy it took to heat this water up. I had a little over a kilogram of water. It went up 80 degrees, so I needed about 83,000 calories. Well, all that energy came from the methane burning. All that heat was released when the reaction occurred. So that amount of energy must be the energy that we produced burning the methane. Since we assumed all of the energy released by the methane burning with oxygen went into the water. Which means if we think about our reaction, we have that much energy. 82,960 calories is 82.96 kcal. So it was 1,000 calories per kcal. So just move the decimal three places. This is the kcals that must have been released. Since it went into the water, the much must have been released by the methane. Well, my balanced reaction says that for every 1 CH4, I should get 213 kcals. So I can use the delta H of the reaction to convert from energy to methane. So one mole of methane. Calculate this through, we'll find that we should have had 0 0.3895 mole of CH4. To get just about 83 kcals of energy, well, a full mole would have burning would have given me 213. I didn't need that much. I needed less than a full mole. And that's what we find. 0.3895 moles of methane. Three sig figs, three sig figs, still carrying three sig figs. So I can find my moles of methane, and the last question is just to find the mass of it. So if I know the moles, 0 0.3895 mole of CH4, and in every one mole of CH4, well, carbon's 12, hydrogen's all 1.008, comes out about 16.05 grams of CH4. 
Now, so this is going to be 6.25 grams of CH4. To successfully heat this water up, at least this much methane must have burned with dioxygen. But if this weight would have been the right number of moles to make the 83-ish kilocals, which was needed to warm that water.